Welcome back to DXB today. Now, I'm very excited about our next guest. We have a professional boxer in the studio, the only one from the UAE to make it to the top 10. Please welcome Nesta Ranfati. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, so your background is Iranian, but you're based here in the UAE. Tell us a little bit about your training and how you got into it. Um, I, it's about uh, one year and a half. I moved to Dubai. I started with uh, some Cuban coach and they, uh, the style that they uh, give training is totally different than uh, where I come from. Uh, it's like dancing and... Uh, the Cubans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cuban dancing. <laughs> and uh, it's fun. Uh, I'm learning new style and uh, the way they move is uh, completely different and they, it's, uh, they are having fun, it seems like they are having fun in the ring. Okay, yeah. well that's good, it's got to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, getting into boxing as a female, is it a completely different industry as boxing as a man? Because I know most people here, like uh, in the UAE, we have like, huge um, boxing events that are male focused. Are we going to have that kind of space for women soon? Yes, uh, we're going to have, but uh, it takes time. Uh, right now, uh, there's just one or two female boxers in Dubai, mm -hmm. based in Dubai, and uh, it's difficult to uh, find opponent, a sparring partner, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the uh, environment that uh, boys have uh, is more easier than uh, what we have. Yeah. Okay. And can I just ask you, when you started boxing, how did your parents? feel about that. I know that my mum was always terrified because my sport was kind of dangerous, um, but actually being hit in the face is a whole new category. So how, how did they support you? Uh, I started boxing at the age of 25, but I was I, I had a kickboxing background. Um, my parents uh, didn't like me uh, to go uh, in boxing, but uh, after a while, Actually, after I got injured many times and they uh, saw that I'm too serious uh, in boxing, uh, now they're my big supporter. That's mm. great. Yeah. Did you get injured more in um, kickboxing or boxing? Boxing. Okay. Boxing. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, um, you're ranked world number 11 right now, I believe. Congratulations on that. Uh, tell me, what's the next goal? What are you looking to achieve now in the future? Um, my goal is uh, take one step uh, in female boxing, uh, and but the next uh, goal in my career is a uh, world title. Well, you know what? I, I feel like we have a lot to learn from the discipline of boxing. I think there is so much about boxing as a sport that we can all implement into our daily lives. Tell me how it's got you through your daily life. I feel like that discipline aspect of it is really, really important as an athlete. Yes, uh, the what uh, I love uh, about being professional uh, is discipline. Mm. And uh, all the time my coaches uh, telling me that you have a good discipline. And um, you know, waking uh, up at the same time every day and uh, uh, go to the training every day and uh, being on the diet uh, program and uh, so many things gonna happen in your life mm. that uh, sometimes you don't feel good and you feel like uh, I, I'm not in the mood to, to go for training but I always go my, uh, to my training. Mm. Now Nestor, I know you've got a fight coming up on the 25th of November. Are you excited for it? What is the fight? Where can we see it? And how are you training for it? Right now, uh, it's about uh, two weeks uh, that I started my training camp and I, I'm gonna continue it uh, four weeks more. And uh, we are going hard uh, because uh, it's, uh, it's for a title, it's a big fight for me. And um, I'm preparing for it uh, so hard. You're gonna do so well. <laughs> I already know. Definitely, and I think we'd all love to come and cheer you on as well. We'd love to be there ringside supporting you. Thank you so much, Nasaran, for joining us on the sofa today and having a chat, and we can't wait to hear more from you. But Nimi, mm -hmm. it's over to you. I know, Sarah, no pressure here. Go on. But as our 
honour of our being guest co-host on DXB today. We're going to do a DXB in 60. So 60 seconds on the clock. We want to yeah. know more about you. That's okay. what it is, okay? We'll try and get through as many questions as we can. So if we can start the clock in three, two, one. If you were not in the fitness industry, what would you be in? Food industry. I love that. Your most prized possession? Um, I don't know. I'm not big on possessions. Okay. Um, I can go on to the next one. Yeah. Your favourite workout? Weight training, mm -hmm. strength. Your hidden gem in Dubai? Ooh, um, I think I should say raw fitness. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> uh, your inspiration? Um, cheesy, but my mum. Oh, I love that. No. Sorry. <laughs> your motto in life and in work? Um, I think to be kind. Mm -hmm. A topic you could go on about all day? Um, fitness. You know, people just ask me fitness the whole time. So yeah. obviously it's my, my brand. And that's why you're here. Yeah. Uh, the most interesting <laughs> client you've ever trained? Oof. Do we have to go famous or can we? If you can. Um, interesting. Piers Morgan. <gasps> He'll love that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That would have been some great chat during that. Uh, and why Dubai? Um, because the sun and the positivity of the people here. Amazing. Time is up. Thank you so much, Sarah, oh, for that DXB in 60. It's been great getting to know you more as well. So thank you for your time. Thank you. So uh, after the break, we are going to be back because I got to sit down with Italian footballing legends. I'm so Frances jealous. Francesco Totti <laughs> was one of them. Uh, but before that, here's another sneak peek at the local artists performing tonight on DXB Today. Hello, we are Brown and Big, and we're super excited to perform at DXB today, so stay tuned.